males and females have different body structures that enables them to reproduce. One of it is the reproductive system. Now that you are grown up, you start to notice changes in your body. The human reproductive system has something to do with the differences and changes observed between males and females. First, let's talk about the male reproductive system. That's right, and all boys watching have this. This is the male reproductive system. The male reproductive system is made up of several organs. These are specifically responsible for producing sperm cells and hormones. What is a sperm cell? Well, this is important for reproduction because it is needed to fertilize an egg cell which came from a female reproductive system. On the other hand, hormones are responsible for the development of adult male characteristics. A male can produce numerous or a lot of sperm cells. Did you know that an average man can have approximately 5 million sperm cells in a single drop of semen? But out of these millions of sperm cells, only one is needed to fertilize an egg cell. Now let's talk about the different parts of the male reproductive system and its function. Number 1. The penis. This is the penis. It is the external male organ with a tip called glands. Penis is covered with foreskin that may be removed through circumcision. The penis function is this. By filling with blood, penis will be able to erect. Therefore, it will be able to penetrate during sexual intercourse. Number 2. Scrotum This is the scrotum. Scrotum is a pair of pouch-like sacs that contains the testes. It also controls the testes temperature because it must be slightly cooler than the body to produce sperm cell. Now, what is testes? This is the testes. If only one, you can call it testes. But since we boys have two of these, let's call it testes. These are the glands that produce sperm cells. It is also responsible for making the male sex hormone, which is called testosterone. Number 4. The epididymis. This is the epididymis. It is a narrow, cold tube that stores sperm cells. It was located at the back of testes. Number 5. The urethra. This is the urethra. The urethra in males is the passageway for both urine from the urinary bladder and semen from the glands. Number 6. Seminal Vesicles This is the seminal vesicles. These are sac-like pouches attached to the vas deferens. It contributes to the semen production. It produces sugar-rich fluid which provides energy for the sperm cell's motility or to move independently. 
Next is the vast difference. This is the vast difference. It is a long muscular tube that serves as the passageway of the sperm cells released from the testes. It also connects the testes to the seminal vesicle and the urethra. Number 8. Copper's gland. This is the Copper's gland. The Copper's gland is also called bulbourethral gland. It is one of the two pea-sized organs found beneath the prostate gland. It is responsible for releasing fluid that flushes out foreign matters and neutralizes the acidic urine in the urethra. And last is the prostate gland. This is the prostate gland. It is a gland located between the bladder and the penis. It produces a fluid that nourishes and protects the sperm. And these are the functions of the different parts of the male reproductive system. Now let us understand the journey of a sperm cell. We already know that the sperm cell is needed to fertilize an egg cell during reproduction. The journey of sperm cell begins to the testis. Then it will be stored at the epididymis. It was located at the back of testes. When the penis is erect, sperm moves to the vas deferens. Then the seminal vesicles make a fluid that mixes with sperm. Prostate gland makes more fluid for the sperm. During orgasm, the prostate squeezes this fluid and sperm into the urethra. And then out of the body. And that is how the male reproductive system works.